Content. That's what I thought, my brave companions. This is it. The dawn of a new age. No lo oh, there's three more of them. <laughs> there's three more of them. Can you, uh, can you get it? Can you get them? There you go, good work. The dawn of a new age. Now the proles will not trouble this world any longer. They'll trouble us instead. <laughs> Die, poor people. There we go. Oh, what a lovely fort. What a lovely fort we've taken. Yes. Oh, look at that. <laughs> There's artillery and stuff here. That's nice, isn't it? Can you actually, like, how do you attack the fort? I guess you have to batter down this door. <laughs> it's just a door. Like, in a... Oh, it's a 2D wall. Okay, you can actually walk straight through the wall. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? Destructible target. Not very destructible, is it? Oh, <laughs> slowly. <laughs> Slap grenades against it. Okay, so that's how you would have got into the fort. Interesting. There we go. So now we're in. We'll take on some of these captured guys to restore our army to full strength. And now the war begins. The war to rid the world of the great disease. I want to have Fort Kolonok for myself, good sir. <laughs> I look quite nice in this light. This is good lighting for Pro Hunter. Very lovely, as you wish, sire. That's right, sire. I am now the king. <laughs> I feel myself transformed. Transformed into a new Russian king. We are the Borg. <laughs> Resistance is futile. <laughs> the Borsh, I guess it should be pronounced. There we go. Manage this castle. We will... Let's go and look inside our new base. Oh, shit. <laughs> this isn't exactly what I thought the base of world anti prolism would be like. We've got a, a picture of Joseph Stalin, <laughs> hammer and sickle banners, a fucking Nazi. What's going on in here? <laughs> Who are you, minister? Did you choose this? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. There's a femel. <laughs> act cool, act cool. Hello, femel. Um, please arrange your family to arrange your, uh, conduct her to arrange a ransom. Yes, yes, I may be dishonorable. And she slightly hates me. But you see, I've already got a wife. She's out there somewhere in the bloody world, telling everyone that I'm the emperor. Yes, she'll be back any minute now. <laughs> There's another picture of Stalin above the door. I don't walk through a door that doesn't have a picture of Stalin over it. <laughs> Do you? Right, get rid of this minister. No, we're going to ha have Mattel, <laughs> the woman who hates me, be in charge of the admin so that she's out of my party. Mattel is the minister. So now if I walk outside and come back in, there we go. Mattel will sort everything out. I'm at your service. It seems your right to rule as an independent monarch is not sufficiently recognized. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> oh, really? I have a right to rule this world, Mattel. For I, for I, for I, am a member of the bourgeoisie. Don't you know? And I've been to university, famously unemployed. So this is it, is it? <laughs> this... Is my glorious bourgeoisie empire, is it? I mean, <laughs> I feel like I deserved a little bit more than this fucking tiny wooden room <laughs> with two goddamn uninvited Nazis who won't leave standing in front of these Bolshevik symbols. <laughs> what is all this bullshit? And Mattel, it's, it's, it's leaking. <laughs> Who's responsible for this? The bloody snow's melting on the roof and slowly flooding the room. Is that a metaphor? <laughs> I refuse to accept your metaphor of world. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. So what can we really do from here? I'm slightly uh, annoyed that it hasn't actually changed the colour. It's still got the uh, the faction colour of the communists. As if to say it's not going to be under our control for long. <laughs> Come on game. Have you no faith? I guess all we can really do is stay in the fort for a bit. And maybe the communists will send forces over to attack. And then we can defeat them using the fort's internal defences. Although we need more troops. Uh, can I convince the communist troops to join me? Alright boys. I want you all to remember. That while I may be gone. You are the bourgeoisie. The ground you stand on. Is bourgeois Zealand. It's like New Zealand. But more upper class you see.
<laughs> there we go. We'll, we've put a, a tiny, a tiny massive army in our fort. So maybe you can hold out with those 66 men while we try and sneak back through communist territory to find more men. This was a terrible idea, <laughs> making our base here. This is the worst possible location for a base. Okay, maybe I can sneak over to the blue territory and steal their men. Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. Time for a bit of bourgeoisie sneaking. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I'm coming for you, proles. Dun, 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 dun. I'm getting closer. <laughs> Ymira found me. <laughs> I guess I wasn't being the sneakiest bourgeoisie in town, or perhaps it was the power of love. I gained right to rule. I gained right to rule. <laughs> You'd be spreading my message. Welcome back, friend. Okay, so everyone's now agreed that I am king of the universe. <laughs> Did we all agree? All right, people of Ruvar. <laughs> now, the phrase, lost cause, <laughs> is thrown about a lot these days. <laughs> Especially in this modern age of political whim leading to the utmost violence. Uh, but I have an offer for you that you can't possibly resist. Ah ha ha! All eight of you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Who are these two? <laughs> we are not spies! <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> Welcome to the team. Okay, this can work, this can work. All I need to do <laughs> is gather up more fools into my lost cause brigade. <laughs> I mean, oh god, they're right here. Oh, do they speak English? <laughs> uh, Parlez-vous anglais? Nine! Good, good. <laughs> ah, Rommel. <laughs> Glad to see you're back where you belong. <laughs> I'll take them all, thank you. Oh, we should be buying food as well. We need to get all the food we can. <laughs> Canned food. <laughs> it's only one big ass can. <laughs> ah, a Texan merchant. <laughs> I'd be delighted to buy your canned food. Anyway, yeah, so we're going to gather up all the men and food we can, sneak back home, and then somehow overturn the proletariat <laughs> so the bourgeoisie can rule once again. Across the open plains of snow did march the 81. Their cause was lost, but they didn't know. Pro Hunter had not won the right to rule the world as he previously claimed. And now they'd be taken to the edge of the world, where most would soon be maimed, 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 and trained, <laughs> trained, so that they might better appreciate being maimed. This is the national anthem of the Borg. <laughs> I hope you liked it. I composed it myself. Yes, yes, I've been to university, don't you know? All right, everyone, I want you to summon additional weapons out of your nether regions. <laughs> I'll pay 20 dinars if you can pull a rifle from somewhere I don't expect. <laughs> oh, young lad, you've earned your pay. There we go. So now we have a slightly bigger force. I guess I should just keep doing this. They didn't come and attack us. Maybe they didn't want it back. Maybe it's still the enemy's colour because they secretly don't... No, not secretly. They don't know that I've done this. I've done this in secret. The bourgeoisie's secret uprising begins. <laughs> Slowly but surely the world shall form. So maybe we should just take our army and try and take Fort Tlatelov. So, uh, welcome to your new home, boys. As you can see, it's quite lovely. Look at that. Snow on thatch. It's re very quaint, isn't it? You have to admit it's very quaint. Look how obliging we've bloody been. <laughs> We're expecting to be attacked so soon, we've actually already put the artillery facing the gates. <laughs> Just set it up for them, boys. <laughs> Let's not waste any time. I've heard of battles lasting for days. Have you heard about bloody Stalingrad? <laughs> I don't have time for that. Just put the bloody artillery in front of the gates. <laughs> Let's get it over with, okay? I don't have time for this life. So yes, we, we've put everyone in the garrison, and the nice thing about putting people in the garrison is that they don't want any food while they're in the garrison. If you take them with you, they eat. But if you just leave them in our snow wasteland, they'll be fine. You'll work it out. Everybody squeeze in with those two Nazis in the leaky room. You'll warm it up once you're all in there. Yes, I'm doing you a service, really. Right now I'm off. Oh, apparently I own this village. Yes, I do. Oh, I didn't realise that. <laughs> Did I come? I didn't get this one, but I got that one. Okay. Interesting. I didn't know I had a bloody territory. Oh, okay. I was putting everyone in those bloody rooms with the Nazis. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, man. Turns out there was plenty of accommodation available, although it has been set on fast. <laughs> due to me uh, not realising. Oh, what's this? Oh, the fucking Chinese bandits are on me. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, this didn't go very well, did it? Oh, no. <laughs> My new army. <laughs> My new army. Quick. 
quick, man. You know that lost cause I inspired you with? It's time time for a live demonstration. There we go. Look at them there. Behind us getting killed. Uh, uh, what, Rolf? Do you think we shouldn't do that? Now fall back in line. Okay. And now the trap is set. We need but only wait, my loyal companions. So oh, good. Nazis are getting what for again, are they? That's good to hear. Now we continue to wait. My loyal companions, put your ear to the ground. Listen for a distant rumble. What is that? What is that? Oh no, that's just the money. <laughs> that's just the money. <laughs> Thank you, Padre. <laughs> Same time next week. <laughs> Don't worry about those commies. <laughs> They'll stay off your back. They hate money. That's what I've heard. <laughs> now, what was I listening to again? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> the distant rumble of proles on the move. Feel fast the means of production. You hear that? <laughs> you hear that foul voice on the wind? <laughs> You'll never take my means of production. <laughs> uh, I suppose they're not even going to bother trying by the looks of things. Like, my whole plan to defeat the communists in a defensive battle isn't going to work if they'd ever come over here. And I don't think we actually can defeat them in an offensive battle. We need a couple of their armies to come die <laughs> so that we can risk going to attack with everything against their nearest forts. My loyal subjects, your king is here. <laughs> your king is here to, oh my god, it's one of these villages, isn't it? <laughs> well, well, well. No amount of grenades is enough. Okay, okay. Well, I'm glad to see that I made the right decision by allowing this place to be looted and pillaged. <laughs> and I will continue to allow it to be looted and pillaged. You've got a fucking picture of Stalin on the wall. <laughs> Some sort of glaze over it. I guess it's frozen. None of you know how to bloody walk. <laughs> what did the commies do to you? Okay, all we'll do is I'll take your... Oh, ooh, maple syrup. No, I'll take your crane. And I'll take your lives. Thank you. Join the team. I hope you realize what this means, Kratana. <laughs> this means war. Not even the Borg can resist the Borg. I'll be back for you. Can I take a hostile action? No, <laughs> you're not allowed to take hostile actions against your own territory. Well, that seems unfair. <laughs> I'm glad this gun has a bonus against shields. <laughs> yes, yes, your shields cannot save you. Oh, God, <laughs> please, please stop ravaging my men. Oops, I said to myself, mental note, stop ravaging the men. <laughs> it's bad for morale, don't you know? <laughs> Oops, sorry, Vera. <laughs> Are you okay there, darling? She's fine. I'll fight for your honor by shooting a heavy machine gun dangerously close to your face. It's the only honourable way, I've been told. <laughs> yes, back at university, of course, I was speaking about. Stop killing my men! <laughs> I will throw a grenade at my own feet. You think I won't? <laughs> Don't call my bluff on this. <laughs> Alright, I've had a very bad day. <laughs> Being the bourgeoisie is hard, and my men are absolute fucking trash. They can't kill these guys. We've got goddamn guns. How are they riding rings around us? These goddamn Mongol horse archers are at it again. <laughs> now the Mongols have got rifles. <laughs> That's only going to make things worse. Please, there we go. Oh my, look at this hat. Look at this hat. The ragged fancy hat. <laughs> well now, it doesn't go with my uh, color scheme. Oh, the black hat. The black hat will though. Look at that. Actually, no, that's pretty shitty. Okay, <laughs> okay. I'll keep that. <laughs> Put the hat in the maybe pile, maybe pile. <laughs> Thank you, my image is very important. Oh god, there's more, there's gory Mongols. <laughs> it's just too hard to get Chinese people to join your side. They're being ravaged by the Mongols. <laughs> it's still happening. They never sorted that out, as it turns out. <laughs> they left it on the back burner all these centuries, and it's just got still going. Amazing. So guys, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>